What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? Skip away here in another episode of Project Zomboid. How's doing? How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Uh, have I no more meat? Oh, wow. I have no more meat? Well, that's not good. Let's go find food rather than... Using up this stuff, you know what I mean? Let's make sure we don't take an injury here. This will level up our nimble fairly fast, if anything. Yeah, I think we might be better off going out and trying to find some stuff in freezers rather than using up the stuff that we have here. We might run back over to the shop here. We kill a zombie or two on the way, just get some snacks. Any kind of just perishable goods. Let's get rid of this bitch. Took a while to take her out, man. Am I, is my hunger affecting me that much? There's a couple of Zeds in here. I'm not too sure we're in here the last time. What's that on the ground? Right in front of the thing. It looks like a piece of fruit. We'll deal with her fairly handily. Uh, what's on the deck here? Oh, it's a radish! Uh, we got a house key. Dismantle the L digital watch. Oh, there's another house key here. Hold on. Standing by. Gather them up. At some point it might prove useful. If there's anything that isn't rotten, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of this stuff is. I think it was as well when we got over to it there not so long ago. There's a spud. We'll grab that. Those spuds seem to be fairly hardy and last in a while. I'm sure if you were if you were to move quick enough, I literally just chopped up like fucking a leak right like a second ago to uh, make a stew. I'm making a beef stew here at the moment, the background, in case you hear the activity of cooking going on in the background of the recording. Yeah, all this is fucked. I'd say if you could take this early on in the in the uh, the apocalypse, that you could get so much out of all of this, like. I just, um, I didn't. We had a real rough fucking start, in fairness to us. Well, we could do a little, a little salad, you know, cheese and potato salad. We'll throw a condiment of some sort onto it, you know, there you go. Yeah, cheese, egg, it's like a, a potato salad, like an, an egg mayonnaise. Minus the egg. Um, <laughs> it'd be grand, we'll, we'll make a meal up out of this here. We're gonna have to start adding more cheese into this now. It, it's good that we can use up the dairy here. And just, uh get rid of all this stuff you know there's a lot of calories in what we're eating here potatoes and fucking cheese and the mayonnaise like that's there's a lot of stuff in that this ought to I uh, fall to person that's what we wanted there's a few more here that we can uh, work off the eggs there we could take the eggs back when push comes to shove Grab the muffin. We might not eat it right now, but we will likely eat it later. I think the rest of this was just all water and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. This sneaky cunt. Scared the shit out of our poor lad. Fucking hell, he's not able for that type of carry on. Hammer, shovel. Let's have an actual proper look at some of the stuff that's here. Hammer, shovel, no radio, ketchup. 
what? <laughs> Rock candy, one of my favorite things. There's so many water bottles here as well. This is just a, like a fucking bit of everything scattered here. Like there's a. I know for a fact over there there's some gardening supplies. School bags, aluminum. Sewing supplies, water bottles. Like, we will, over time, strip this place out, but... Now is not the time, gross. Now is not the time. Pasta and stuff. A lot of this stuff isn't gonna go anywhere. Large mountain oven. Oh, wow. Right. So we, we cleared our way up into the cop shop the last time. So we uh, we know what the situation is there. We have a car, in theory. It looks like it should work. What's, oh wow. Big pack of zombies over there. It's a fast food joint of some sort. There was this building next to us as well, which I think is still full of zombies, and we should probably do a job on clearing that out. Throw on the old search mode there. If we can gather a couple of items in transit here and just keep getting some points into our foraging, I would like that to be as high as possible as soon as possible. Watch, we'll find an item as we get into combat with this tower rack. Oh wow. Brained him. It seems that there's uh actually here, bear with me. I'm gonna go stir things. <laughs> You're all like that's so unprofessional, he's totally gonna edit that out. <laughs> And I can tell you right now for a fact, I sure as fuck am. <laughs> that's, that's staying in it. That's staying in it. You met your bottom daughter. Yeah. I'm great in stock here at the moment for a stew. But it seems that in these piles of rubbish, there might be more, like, items. Oh, we spotted that. But it may have just been pure chance that time. Our sneaking must be getting to a decent level because we, uh... Straight up just got ignored by a zombie there that we walked right past. I want to find one more item. I turned on an extractor fan there. Sorry, by the way, if that's making noise. I want to find one more item before I commit to this building. Fuck it, that'll do. I don't really need stones, but I... I don't want to open a door with two of them on the other side of it. It just feels like a dumb thing to do. Is it down? What? Already? Get him to split up a little bit. And start giving them the good news. Remember, every time we level up our long blunt, we're getting a little bit better at killing them. And every time we get a little bit better at killing them, we're just gonna go through them more efficiently and we're not far off of leveling up our long blunt. We're about halfway through the next tier of it. So we've been doing some solid work and we have the weapons to back it up now as well.
I'm getting your little muffin there as well. Nice little fresh tasty. Okay, you tower rag. And then we'll back it up and we'll let her follow us out. Yeah, so caramelizing off the veg now that we're with the Maillard effect, you know. Once they start to brown, we get a little bit of caramelization and then I'll, uh, I'll start adding stuff like stock and stuff like that. We can blitz it then later and then that'll create like the baseline. Up to electrical one. Hello! I'm talking about cooking, could you not? Could you not? Cooking's one of my favorite things to fucking do. I'm anal about it. Nice. Very nice. Can I jump over these? Oh, you can. Very good. All these places have, like, fridges in them, and, like, none of them have stuff. You know what I mean? Like... Hmm... All of this stuff is kind of good, but I'm not going to commit to grabbing any of it, really, because uh, we don't need it right now. Like, I've left a lot of good stuff in place. This is all good shit, too. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors there, so we'll just ignore that. The broken window there, I have to presume that the zombie jumped out. Although, I've yet to see it, I, I don't think they can. Unless it jumped out onto this rooftop. Oh, I like that. The idea of living on that, that's kind of cool. But there also is potentially a zombie out there I need to be aware of. Like, yeah, let's test this out. Was there a zombie up here at some point? Keep leveling up that nimble. But you know what I mean. I thought it was like in this actual room. What's in here? Is there another little storage room in there? We've had some great success with books in these places thus far. Foraging 3 there and 4. A lot of magazines here. We'll take two. First aid there. We will need that one because that was my next kind of project. In theory. And let's quickly fill our water bottle and have a drink. anybody else in here this is looking like a bit of a bust here we'll check the fridge just to see if there is any snacks but these fuckers seem notorious for not bringing their lunch with them to work they all fucking these are all the modern day human you know fucking i ain't got time to prepare food for myself you know i'll just purchase it out at a fucking shop it is what it is the way the world is developed as much as possible i try prep my own food 
not to be healthy or anything like that, but also to be healthy and stuff like that. But more for a, not only from an expense point of view, but like. Yeah, it's more of an expense point of view. Like, it's. Yeah, like, fucking find the stuff here. It's like awesome. What is. Yeah, come on. Click it. Pick it up. Pick it up. That's probably going to be worth loads of fucking XP. 6750, like. It's whatever. We can dump it there now. It's there forever. The little alleyways in and around the houses. This is just so good for fucking scouting shit. Like, that's a huge chunk of XP. We've done this shop. We haven't done this building. I don't know what it is, because I can't really see from this angle. This had, like, cooking stuff, didn't it? Fridges. Disable search mode here. Oh, wow. Look at all of this shit. Everything. We want all of this stuff. We're taking everything. Give me all of your things. This is already refrigerated. It's all good to go. This is going to feed us for a couple of days. Good food. Jobs are good. And all the rest of this shit can go ask the back end of me bollocks. Time to fucking get meaty! Right, let's draw them out. There we go. Be a second one coming here now. Get this bitch down. See, I was afraid of one coming down the stairs there. That's why I, I went through the extra effort to get back. It's not behind us, is it? That's that's my fear, is that whatever it is that I'm hearing is behind me and causes me a bit of carnage. This is a restaurant of some sort, diner type place. Not a sinner in the place here now as well, that's good. Excellent. Where's the till? How does that fucking work? Where do you, where do you pay? Oh, up here. Here we are, yeah. I was confused. Very confused. Garbage bag. Let's get a couple of bottles. I saw empty bottles here. Uh, we should grab all of those. Again, the RB. I'm stirring things. No, I will not edit this out because I am lazy. good folks she's looking good that's some good browning taking effect there now the idea is you want to brown things uh in order to caramelize and by caramelizing the things they generate more flavor the essence of pure flavor whatever that's from oh there was bologna in here there was a steak why would you leave a fucking steak just to if gordon ramsay could see that Jesus Christ. Oh, the olive oil, that's nice. And a little bit of sugar there. The flour! 
I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but whatever. There's no griddle pans here, actually. That's a bit fucking weird. Okay, right, let's go. Throw the old head upstairs. There could be a few here now. I'm not too sure where I'm hearing these. They're always locked in the bathroom, man. Why does everyone go into the bathroom to die? I don't understand. More house keys. Oh, antibiotics! I'm fucking blind! Dude, you're looking right at it. Like, that. that is salvation right there if you get an infection. Smell that shit. Get that stuff. Dismantle that shit. Grab the magazine. All of this shit. Throw it into the backpack. What you got for me here? Ooh, there's angler magazines. Good cooking. Already read. Not much else going on for us here. Not much else. There are lots of books though, like eventually this will be amazing. Dismantle the LTV there. Get a couple of bits out of it. It's just all to chip away really at the electricity. No, I need a welder mask to do that one apparently. Okay, so this building is, I, I would call this secure. This has been dealt with handily. So we know now that there's a bit of a perimeter around us. And we, we found a lot of food, which we should probably get back. And we found some good shit. It's maggots, is it? Yeah. You fucker. What's this we just found? Nails? Oi! It's a little bit of XP. It all adds up. We're actually quite close to leveling thanks to finding the fucking guitar case. Let's get what we found home. Let's throw the nails out here. Let's walk over to our pile. Throw the chipped stone, the actual stone. Cause I don't really know what else to fucking do with all of that. Let's go over here to the fridge. I'm not really worried about freezing things. Just refrigerate everything in here. There's chicken there that ought to be used. Unpack all the eggs and we'll throw them in and we can start doing like fucking big egg doodads. Open the egg cartons there. Throw all of that into the fridge as well. We can get a couple of kilos of food. I'd be a happy man. Like, I've done it before, though, where I've had kilos of food, and then the uh, power went, and I didn't have a generator. And that was, it was just game over then, really, wasn't it? Like, fuck, I've been putting these in the wrong place. I don't know how that ended up happening there, I'm a fucking idiot. All the spuds in here, the peas and stuff. We'll be able to create some nice healthy meals over the next wee while and put a bit of fucking weight on our dude. Not that we want weight on our dude. Um, we should probably read some magazines and do a bit of uh, management of our inventory here now as well. So we have our first aid. 
magazine, and we have another entertainment magazine that we can get rid of later. A bunch of cooking supplies here now. What we'll do is stick a knife in here as well, because we'll use that over time. Okay, all of the stuff we'll throw in here. And then the antibiotics we will stockpile in our little medical supply box over here. And then what we'll do is we'll prep a meal. Using three eggs. And then miscellaneous after that. Or maybe two eggs and then some of the veg. Yeah, get rid of some of the cabbage into it there. I don't know how long. Cabbage doesn't really last that long in like IRL, so... And you know what? There was chicken there that didn't look great. So where's the ch chicken? Is it forcing me to use that one? It is, yeah. I would have rather to use the other one. I don't know. Put in on that. Decent meal. Throw in some. Lard is a spice. There you go. Just to have a meal out of it there. Move all three of these into this so we don't waste those extra couple of seconds. Turn that on and read the Angler magazine. How's that looking? And read the... no. Read that. And fast forward it again. Okay. And now read the Hunter's Magazine. And then turn off. So you can do three magazines in the time it takes to cook this roast. Like, sick. So we got all three of those magazines have now been read. Um, that's pretty awesome. Get wire back, make a fish in there, make a timer, add a timer, trap box, cage trap. A couple of, a couple of fucking useful things there. Um, stick the roasting pan back in there. And we can throw these all onto the deck, on the pile. I love seeing the knowledge pile accumulate over time. We'll read to like half eleven here. Put a little bit of this away into our, our knowledge bank there now. And then uh, I will resume my cooking duties. If we're if by half eleven we're close to finishing. Oh, somebody shot a gun. Do you know what? We might just go until it's done. The sooner we have this read, the better. Like I uh for the sake of like a half an hour or so, I, I think this is probably worth just chewing through it. I'll set an alarm in the morning so that way even if we do wake up fucking late like at least we're we're not massively out of sorts and then on the bright side now we, we actually have this done it's dusted uh, we'll probably get a little board emoji here now too excellent farming book has been consumed excellent we can fuck that into the pile and then we'll grab first aid and we'll consume that and I can become that which I am in real life five first aid books later you're basically a paramedic this has been giveaway era ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed watching the video give us a like down below possibly consider subscribing to the channel if you have any other comments questions concerns about anything that happens this video leave it down below in the comment section I'll go back as soon as I can thank you Randy bye bye